Okay, so neutral, return. Put that up to here. Black is my line power. Put up to my AMC before I to the wall. See if I hooked it up it's the right way. There you go. Here you can see uh, the voltage. Let me see if I can set it up. So this button right here uh, goes to your main menu. And now uh, you can set your date and time. Uh, colors, whatever colors you prefer uh, for your different line. your electrical hookup. Uh, this menu right here uh, pretty much is for your, your hookup if you're doing three phase, single phase, uh, three phase, four wire. You just pretty much uh, select what kind of measurement you want to do. And uh, for this purpose right here we're doing a uh, single phase power measurements so I'm going to select single phase. After I go do my electrical hookup I want to check uh, my current sensors. Most of the time the AMC 3945 recognizes what current clamp you have on it but just to make sure you always want to check and uh, in this case we have the MN probe and we have it set for a hundred amp range and it's highlighted so I have the correct setting on here right now I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and uh, hit my waveform button so I could see what I'm doing over here here this is the voltage that is coming out of the wall so 120 volts. And now I'm going to apply a load right now. You should be able to see uh, your current come up. Now that the load is powered on, uh, you could see my voltage coming out of the wall and how much current I'm drawing out of it. Go to a THD that should told, that should uh, show you your, your harmonic distortion and percentages in the top. Now, if you want to see your power output in watts, you hit the W, and you have kilowatts up here. You have volt amps reactive, and you have volt amps right here. Uh, your volt amps reactive and your watts. Uh, might change depending on your power factor. Right here as you see we have power factor 1. So now if you want to check your total harmonic distortion you hit the little bar graph button and right now it's selected for volt amps. This is uh, the total harmonic distortion between both my voltage and my current. If you want to see just the distortion on your voltage you hit the volts button and as you can see we have a pretty clean voltage output out of the wall there's not much distortion there and to check our current you hit the app soft button and as you can see we have a pretty clean current coming out of the wall also so right here we have the waveform that we were looking at earlier if you uh, want to save the picture of how it looks like right now all you have to do to take a picture shot is hold this button down you're going to see a little icon up here of a camera showing up and what's, once that shows up that means that it has saved your current screenshot and then you let it go and if you want to go back later on and see your screenshot or your multiple screenshots that you have saved you just hit this button temporarily and right here it shows the time and date and the screenshot that you saved. If you want to look at it, you just hit the enter button and it shows up exactly how it was when you saved it. So if you want to save data with voltage, current, um, power, depends on what you want to uh, save for whatever purpose you need it. You can uh, first go to your setup menu and go to the recording option and right here there's going to be a bunch of little highlighted items 
and selecting this is pretty much what you're going to see when you do your recording so if you don't have any of these little black balls on the side highlighted like this question mark is empty that means that it, nothing's highlighted and you will not see anything when you record so you have to make sure that whatever you uh, need to record is highlighted on the side now that you have selected whatever items you need recorded you go back to uh, waveform or, or whatever the case may be that you need and you hold the record button and from here you hit the little disc button the soft button and this will show you start stop time uh, period is the interval in which you want your measurements taken if you want a measurement taken every 10 minutes uh, 30 seconds uh, whatever you need uh, that's the time period the name you could name the setup whatever you need to name it and for this case uh, I'm not really going to start it but from here you could just hit enter and, and then it's going to start recording it, it's recording on standby should show up and that means that whenever your start time comes up your measurements will start